you could be getting stuck while speaking you could not be knowing all the appropriate don't say this word don't say that word do not use simple words be using all the simple words progress to the next level but it creates say don't use very suppose you want to say i'm very happy i'm ex you could be getting stuck while speaking you could not be knowing all the appropriate words to be used while speaking it's okay this happens with many learners even fluent speakers but if you know the problem it's very easy to resolve and reach the next level before beginning today's video my name is rani rose matthew thank you for staying with me and a hearty welcome to everyone there could be umpteen number of problems that um, you're facing while speaking you could be getting stuck with words and many people tell me i'm not able to remember the words that i read that i'm trying to learn while speaking in english of course practice and consistency is very important but throughout i have been uh, mentioning and speaking about all the problems faced particularly by the beginner learners by the intermediate learners as well and when you know the problem it's easy to find the solution nothing is impossible you could really work on aspects such as language that is possible that's what i mean okay so coming to today's topic it's more about the trends and wrong methods of learning words and that could be one of the reasons why you're getting stuck while speaking there are a lot of reasons why people get stuck why they are not able to remember all the words while speaking who is asking you to remember all the words you just have to remember and use the appropriate words do not load your sentences with load of words in such a way that the listeners don't understand what you're trying to convey i want to bring to your notice a particular trend that is going on in the market today of course some of the youtube channels some of the trainers and some people who are very very genuine create content to help learners to help people and as you know many people have been working on the language skills through different resources but today we get to see people saying don't say this word don't say that word do not use simple words actually what they're trying to tell you is upgrade to the next level don't be using all the simple words progress to the next level but it creates a huge impact on the beginners even some learners who are not aware who do not have the knowledge in language learning it's not necessary that you should have all the knowledge that you should be knowing the techniques when it comes to beginners there are a lot of people who ask me ma'am i'm not supposed to use the word sorry so i asked them why i think i should use apologize so i said yeah you're right but sometimes it's okay to use the simple words when we read stories or do you remember the time you started you began this journey of reading stories children are also given very simple stories when you open youtube also you get to hear a lot of simple stories narrated in standard english some of them use standard english and most of them will have simple sentences but in the correct format simple words also convey meaning do not say no to it today the trend is such that you are so obsessed with only progressive words and language techniques no simple words are also very important for example don't say sorry say apologize of course apologize is the next level word but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be using sorry some people say don't use very suppose you want to say i'm very happy i'm accelerated okay there are a lot of words that you could be using from the intermediate level overjoyed but that doesn't stop you that should not stop you from using the word i'm very happy just imagine the situation you're walking in the dark okay suppose you reach uh, the movie theater late by 15 minutes you just want to watch your favorite movie and um, by hook or by crook you reach the theater and accidentally you stamp on someone and you say sorry i'm sorry you may not immediately use i apologize for stamping on your 
foot. I'm really sorry. Okay, you may just say sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. That is reflex. So used to this word sorry, and that's why using the word sorry. So that shouldn't stop you and say no, no. I'm not supposed to use the word sorry. I should be using the word apologize. It's a reflex action, and also it's because of practice. What people are trying to tell you is to progress to the next level, but sometimes it creates a negative impact amidst learners, and sometimes they become so obsessed and they tell me, "Oh, I'm not supposed to use the word like. I'm not supposed to use the word sorry. I'm not supposed to use this word, that word." From where did you get all these ideas? You should progress in your language, but that should not, at the same time, stop you from using the simple words. Simple words also mean a lot. Why do we use language to express ourselves, to communicate, to communicate in a better way in standard English? It is an asset to know a lot of words, but still, that shouldn't stop you from using the simple words. Okay, that is one thing that you have to always remember. I've heard people saying there are better ways of saying how are you. How are you is a basic way of asking a person how you're doing, what's up, what's new, what's happening at your end. There are a lot of different ways in which you can ask this question, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be using how are you. Oh, I shouldn't be using that. It's not a good way. If I use a simple words, if I use a simple sentence, it means I don't know English. I'm not a progressive learner. It's not like that. You need to make use of these simple sentences because the ultimate aim is to bring out the meaning. Instead of saying "Don't say sorry," "Don't use like," "Don't use simple sentences," you should say "Don't use language to abuse others," "Don't use language to spread hatred," "Don't use the wrong methods of learning," "Don't say yes to trend always," "Don't say no to any language." Just like how you pay attention to the foreign language, you should pay attention to your mother tongue as well. Everything is important. Don't learn a language just for the sake of examination and showcasing your skills. Don't use English only to show that you know the global language. So there are a lot of things that you can say. You can speak about when it comes to the word "don't." Okay. And one more thing that I would like to remind you is, I have come across this usage. Both didn't come. It's a wrong usage. We cannot use the word both in a negative context. Neither came. They did not turn up. Is okay, but not both didn't come. Neither came. Okay. So remember these things. Suppose you have this sentence: "I did not stop to you." Did itself is in the past tense. It should be followed by the present form. I did not stop you. I did not ask you to write this letter. I did not asked you to wrote this letter. Wrong. I did not ask you to write this letter. So ask should be in the present form. Okay, if you pay attention to these minute errors, your sentences will become much brighter, and it will make sense. See, the problem is you have been used to these habitual errors, and some of you just say, "No, no, I'm making mistakes repeatedly. I don't know where I'm making the mistake." Just focus. You know that you have made a mistake just now. You know the pattern, and it's very easy to correct. Just be cautious, and you could get rid of all these errors, and eventually, with practice. Just eliminate it. It doesn't happen in a day. It can. It could happen over a week. It could happen even over a month, right? So say no to all these trends and techniques. What people are trying to tell you is to progress to the next level. But that doesn't mean that you have to forget the roots. You have to forget the base. How could you build a building without firm foundation? You have to establish yourself. You should have the base. Only on top of the base you could build. You can build something. When uh, when children play with building blocks, they get so irritated because the base will not be firm sometimes, and they get irritated when everything topples down. Right. So the base is very important when you have a balanced learning method. When you have the base, when you have a strong and established base, you just have to build on top of it. But that shouldn't stop you from forgetting the roots. Happy learning.